Brought to you by our sponsors at Technique Reviews, Lectrons, Nikons, Coca-Cola, and all our Michael Bay-like products. I like to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, we're starting this for you. Before you guys are opening, closing credits, and opening the rest, this movie I am really lost. Just to start out by saying, size, and to me, size, as me. Represent me as with you. Brought to you by Drake. Hey folks, I'm coming off my cold. My cold has been leaving the building of this endeavor. So, I'm a little late to the game. No, this is not my class for you. We can die. Um, I'm, today I'm going to review Ant-Man and the Wasp. May you enjoy this review whenever they post spam. Post it. If you guys want me to review Incredibles 2, comment down below that you want me to review Incredibles 2. I'll have to find a way to watch it. And let's get the show on the road. After the dark ending of Infinity War, Ant Man and Wasp series is an okay palate cleanser. To the dark of Infinity War, which I saw me review a few months back. Sorry, I'm late to this review, by the way. Spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. This film is the fluff piece after the buffet that was Infinity War. The film does not offer much besides, besides from some funny dialogue that feels painfully deep Disney. And I'm not talking Disney, like Disney, the Iron Man 3, or Avengers. We're talking Disney. Family picture back on cable TV days. As films go, it's better than the first film. The Tynus Ghost is more fleshed out. Though Scott Lang is reduced to a buffoon to make Jan Janet Van Dyne an interesting character. The characters get a technical happy ending with the film. You can make a drinking game out of the word quantum in this film. By technically, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, the after credits scene is kind of a sad one, though it offers probably a solution to what happened in Infinity War. This film is just mildly passable. There are some great moments in this film, like the baby legs Ant Man, Louise remains a great throughout the first film and this film. Add a fun nod to the comics of X Con. The film makes MCU feel more lived in. This film feels like it explores a more trippy visual side, like an acid or a, can I get flag for saying that? Uh, acid or LSD, way more than the Doctor Strange film did. Which also the first film also did, but I feel like this film does it even more. Even more than this, I would recommend Legion if you really want a psychedelic TV show. A psychedelic visual medium to watch, I recommend Legion, but if you want like just a quick two hour movie to feel like a little trip, I recommend this film. Other Marvel, most, this out of all Marvel movies is the one that feels most a family picture of the bunch. Hope Van Dyne was much more adorable, we understand their romantic chemistry more. Hank, him, and Scott Lang do parallel in this film as a father-daughter role, and most of the characters have been very well fleshed out. That's the huge theme of this whole film, father-daughter role, and fathers redeem themselves in this film. You have to go see the movie back to find that out yourself, um, I uh, spoil bits and pieces, but you gotta watch the film here. This film does 
further push the father and daughter through the plot builds off what happened in Civil War and also builds off the first home. They make an upgraded suit that's basically a downgrade like what Iron Man 3 did with our Mark 45. It's supposed to be a better suit but just comes off like a crap suit that just keeps falling apart. Well, they do the same sort of gag here with Ant-Man and Wasp where Scott Lang gives... No, Hank Pym gives Scott Lang a better suit that just does not function properly at all in the whole film. That's a running gag and there's a funny running gag about learning magic card tricks with both an FBI agent that used to work for S.H.I.E.L.D. which is a good little nod reference to early phase of MCU. There's a little levity and some funny moments within that. The film is more of just a straight up comedy film. The characters are well realized and humanized. The only score I can really give it because it's the it's a oh it's a good movie. It's a good it's alright film. But it's not the best MCU film. And I'm not an Ant Man fanboy in the comic of the comics. I've learned from the animated series of Avengers and Midas Heroes. But we all know, look at my channel wallpaper. Look at the satirization I put on the side when you watch the end of these videos. I have always been more of a Spider-Man Deadpool fan where they do something with humor where it's like <laughs> you ripped at the villain. But this, it, it's more just eh, it's okay. 6.5 out of 10. Thanks for watching the video. That was my review of Ant-Man and the Wasp. May you enjoy, hit the like button down below, subscribe, all of you guys watching my videos, it means the most. Thank you so much, because I don't have much doing in life besides making reviews, and well, I do plan to go to college soon, but I have to do like a maybe, I might have to do a month. Of adult ed. I did just get my diploma. Yeah, boy. I got my diploma. I should graduate in the house. I should graduate in the house. Who's the man? But, um, I gotta figure things out. But seriously, thanks for watching.